Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Here we're going to coat my travel trailer roof with this Henry coating. I have links in the description to everything I use. Tropical White, I have two cans of this stuff. It's a 26 foot trailer. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm clean it real good with this pressure washer. I have uh, done a review on this and have a video locally on my channel here. And this thing's pretty handy, so it's got a super long cord on it, so you can tote it all over the place. But here's my travel trailer. It's an old uh, 94, 26 foot prowler. So we're gonna get it, the roof cleaned, pressure wash it off, because um, it's pretty gunky. I've had it almost 10 years now, and haven't done anything to the roof. Um, there's one corner where the rubber coating has kind of cracked, so I'm gonna get that taken care of before it's too late. You just wanna get it really clean and dry and get after it. You can see what I've done already here. do all that. Alright guys, well after the pressure washing and letting it dry, that was yesterday, um, I got some of the some of the stuff with a brush and I went around everything so now I can just roll it. So I got a bunch with the roller starting in this corner which is the bad corner and gonna get after it. So I did all the hard edges and around all these things. I should have taken them off, but no one's gonna see them and I don't care up here. So mostly the issue is I just wanna get a good coating back on this rubber roof because it's really getting worn off putting tarps on it every year. So there's that. I'll come back once we get some done and we'll see how far one gallon goes on my 26 foot travel trailer. All right, we got a good half of the roof done here. A little bit to go yet. If I can zoom you guys out anymore, I can't. But um, there's still a little bit left in the one gallon and that tray full. So I might almost get a whole coat with one gallon and then I'll come back another day and do a second maybe. Because I can't really put it on any thicker. It is what it is. But it's looking pretty good. But it's not like I'd like it to be thicker. You know, paint rollers put it on. But hey, it's an improvement. No doubt about that. All right, guys, I've got myself painted into a corner here. One gallon is more than enough to do a 26-foot travel trailer. This is a 94 Prowler piece of cake, so I'll definitely be doing a second coat at some point. There's a kitty, and there's a kitty. But now i got to figure out how I'm going to get down this ladder a little bit and kind of paint my way on out of here. But so far, so good. It looks amazing. And I'm um, excited to not have to worry about my trailer roof for a while. But let's get her finished up. All right, guys, one whole coat done. Done. There is a little bit left in the can or in the container um, bucket. So I'm going to clean my stuff up for tonight and call it good because she's complete for today. You can really see the bows and waves in it once it's shiny. But so far, so good. We'll come back with another coat probably in another day or two. Um, it's supposed to rain soon, so I want to get this done before fall starts around here in the Pacific Northwest. All right, guys, well, it is the next day here, and I crawled up there and looked, and unfortunately, thanks to the Northwest weather here, as you can see, you probably can't see, it's so smoky and hazy it didn't dry the dew off the top of the roof so it is still soaking wet there ain't enough time in the day i've got less than an hour before it gets dark there's not enough time to dry this off so we're just gonna have to wait hopefully we'll get a dry day here tomorrow or the next day because friday it's gonna rain so i've got two days to do this and it's not looking good so we'll come back and see what happens